I just want to give you guys a few tips on how to catch a few more fish or at least have some better luck on these windy days. Got him. So the first thing I like to do when it's windy like this is position myself where I at least have some wind breaks. So I'm gonna use these trees. We're here in the middle of the fall, so they don't have much foliage on them, but they'll help break it a little bit. It's mainly for me, not so much the fish, but it's a good tip to have longevity and be able to come out here and keep doing the thing. Point bars are great because we're gonna have these deeper waters channeling right through here. You'll also have a nice pocket right along here. So in case they are feeding up shallow, which I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna be out in the middle right here. That's usually where the big girls are. You have the best of both worlds and you also have some blockers behind you. Since it is windy outside, you do want to make sure your drag is set properly. You want to have it a little bit more tighter on the spool than you would normally have just to help prevent backlash. I like to let it drop here and all right it's ready take it up and then our magnetic brakes we might set that another higher here it's an oldie right here but we got her set to eight that should be enough to keep us from backlashing so as far as talking about baits i'm probably going to start off with one of these square bill crank baits and this is going to be really good for having a lot of vibration it's going to get me down there a little bit but since i'm here in the river I don't want to go down there too far, get snagged up on a lot of things, but it should have a lot of vibration, a lot of drawing power. This crankbait is by 12 Oaks Customs, by the way. I'm not sponsored. It just looks pretty. I just wanted to shout it out. So thanks, 12 Oaks Customs. Sometimes a key point when you get a lot of these transitions. And it's the... Got him. Oh, gracious. He smoked it straight out the water. What do we have here? Oh no, he came off it. No. When you're looking for these bass, they're gonna be in the deeper pockets when it gets later in the season. Right around fall, they're gonna be searching for a lot of these pockets that sometimes are gonna be the winterized holes. Right out there behind some pockets. My main goal with these baits is to keep a lot of tension on the line because what good is a bite if you can't feel anything? Like if you're fishing on these straights, it's 20 mile an hour wind, so you really don't want to be taking that to the face all day. Yeah, here you go. Look at this. Yeah, now the wind kicks out. Brighter colors are often good. There we go. Now we got a decent one. What we got here? Oh, it's not a bad fish. It's not huge. Heck of a hook set. Thanks for the catch. So if you're sensing that those bass are in deeper waters, a good place to try out is, of course, bridge pillars. Bridge pillars are good for having channeling currents. They get a lot deeper. You want to catch the biggest fish in your river or body of water anywhere and that's when i'm going to pick up the swim jig i like to choose white or something that's a little bit more flashier also black is a great color or black and blue i'm just going to let this swim jig sink down a little bit further see if i can't stir up the attention just by the upwards motion when i flutter it that creates enough commotion down there but as far as wind goes these heavier swim jigs should keep the slack off your line if you're trying to lower it down a little bit more. Like something like a Ned rig, you're going to have bows in your line all day. So hey, my bait won't even stay in the water. That's the reason why I like to use these swim jigs. And they're just really good at attracting big bass. You're good at hanging in there a little bit longer, sitting in their face, drawing more attention. If you're looking for a little bit more commotion than some of these grubs, you can switch over to a paddle tail swim bait. That's going to create a little bit more wake in the water. Might draw their attention as well. Wow. That's a nice whopper. That's a whopper. Whoa. Yeah, boy. Not a bad fish, man. 
Look at that. Windy days are tough and hopefully that gives you a little bit of hint on how to get some more fish safe from the wind, trying to find some big old bass. These are what I found that at least work a little bit, so. Before you go, I hope I provide a little bit of value for you today. If you can go ahead and hit that like button. Till next time, this is Zach, keep it real. Thank you.